Oh, cool. I'll put you out on the lights. I love this room. It's so good. It's my favourite room here. Yeah. Is this Danton's room or is this just yeah. strong room for? It's, it's a joint venture right. like studio too. So do you have system off? No. You're just so uh, you're just in here. Yeah. Steph just uses this room a lot. Okay, yeah, cool. it's just it. It, so this room is my favourite drum sound in London. And oh, cool. You wouldn't expect it because it's a small booth. Yeah, right? no, we were in there the other the it's other the, week. It's really cool. Some of room. the punchiest drums I've ever recorded, and that yeah. piano is amazing. It's like it's there's loads of character. Like it sounds like a piano that you record at your grandma's house. Right. And that's what I love about it. Um, I think so many studio pianos are really soulless. Yeah. So, the f like, I guess that Strong Room anyway, you, the whole point of Strong Room is vibe. Yeah. So you you wouldn't get that, like, you wouldn't, you'd never get a soulless piano at Strong Room. It's just not yeah. what Strong Room is. And that's what's amazing about this room is it really encapsulates what Strong Room is. Just. So how long have you been coming to Strong Room now? About five years. Yeah. So they were one of the first studios to hire me when I was an assistant. Right. And just have been really supportive ever since i think a lot of studios as soon as an assistant starts moving up they kind of forget about them and yeah. think well they don't need us anymore whatever a strong room have been always really really good with like with my career of giving me discounted studio time when i needed it and just helping me when i first started producing to now i can mm. i pretty much bring as much stuff as i can here because it's it's my favorite place to record in london do you, do you have a room of your own at home yeah you so i've and... got a room not far from here right which I kind of try to not to tell people because <laughs> right, I'd rather yeah. record it. Yeah. So I pretty much can do everything besides drums in my room, yeah. but then whatever, there's budget and we need a good drum sound. This is, this is yeah, like the first I was, place I call. I suppose it's everything else around it as well, isn't it? Yeah. You sort of walk into a facility and there's people around. Yeah, and like if people really underestimate the people involved in the studio, if that yeah. makes sense. And yeah. it's so warm coming into Strong Room and everyone's just yeah. really friendly and lovely to see you as opposed to that whole like corporate studio thing. Yeah. It's so not that here. And it's great to just like come in and like catch up with everyone and yeah. feel supported, I guess. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what clientele it is, it could be a massive artist or it could be someone who's just starting out, you always feel supported. That's cool. Which and the, really the rooms are really nicely set up. I mean, yeah. monitoring is a massive thing, isn't it? Yeah. And the environment, we were just talking about air conditioning. And yeah, just, exactly. Just having somewhere where, they, where you can actually get on with work for hours on end and yeah. not feel pressured, really. Definitely. Like, it sounds amazing here. I was just saying, like, everything I record here translates yeah. really well. And then you also have, like, natural daylight, yeah. with, like, especially in summer yeah. and autumn, like, with the vines, it's beautiful. So you can, like, you can tuck yourself in this room for 20 hours and yeah. not realise it. I could record drums every day for the rest of my life. Really? Happy. Like, genuinely. I could record drums. I do a lot of drum programming. Right. I've got, like, a Digitype drum machine. Yeah. Um, so I literally, I could be on drums for the rest of my life and, right. and just be happy. What sort of stuff is it that you do? Is it kind of, like, indie, yeah, so indie rock? It kind of goes anywhere between indie rock and pop music. Right. And sort of... Do you tend to do lots of layering, or are you, do you, are you a fan of getting the band in together? Or? Um, depends. So the thing I've just recorded got the band together, but to click. So like, right. making, they had a really good natural feel, but still wanting it tight yeah. and poppy. So getting them in to the room together, and then yeah. we'll overdub all the guitars afterwards. But the original pit, like pass of the song was them together in a room. And did you do that in here, or did that elsewhere? Right. And then brought it back here to make it sound better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it totally depends on the project. Right, cool. But yeah, I think Strong Room is really good for doing doing loads of drum layering, and yeah. they've got some amazing kits. What well, me and Jake went out and picked out the drum kits a couple of years ago together, nice. and there was this like amazing snare. Like it was, it blew me away. It was the Noble and Cooney, is that yeah. it? Yeah. And um, so I, it was so good that I was like, oh, how many how many of these do you do you have? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, we've only got one. Wow. And it took everything out of me to not be like, I'll pay double the much yeah, stronger yeah. we're paying. <laughs> but and then now that's half the reason I come here. Yeah. It's like they've got such good like backline equipment here, which a lot of studios surprisingly don't. Have. No, they don't. You were showing me up in the attic, I guess your yeah. your sort of cage yeah. area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so important. I I think a lot of people don't get how much how important instruments, performances and all that stuff oh, are. Man. I mean, this is all lovely, but yeah. But honestly, I could have, I could have a eight SM fifty sevens on a drum yeah. kit. If it's a good drum kit, it's yeah. gonna sound great. And that's like the old. Whenever I speak to like musicians, I'm like, yeah, we've got to get it right at source, yeah, and then totally. the mics will be secondary. Do you um, tend to do pre-production elsewhere? Get, yeah. get people ready for it. So just ready. get them rehearsed yeah. and tend to get to band rehearsals and 
get them like with the right tempo before yeah. we get in and I do a lot of structural changes yeah. when I'm working with bands so like kind of flip around the song and just yeah. make sure it's I think in today's Spotify world you have to make sure the structure is bang on absolutely yeah. so I spend a lot of time on structure before we go into the studio and right. then we can just focus on the sounds yeah. I'd much rather have a good drum kit than yeah. a pair of calls as much as I love a pair of calls like yeah, if right. you've got a crappy you, drum kit it's like you said earlier you could do SM57s if the yeah. kit sounds yeah, good the exactly. sounds good it doesn't yeah. matter yeah. Like, you just need to capture something that yeah. sounds great you know I'd actually love to do that of like Let's do it. get a really good kit in a room and just put 57s on and see if people like can know it, can like tell you know what I mean? We like, did. We did it. Did we? we did. did we did a, dec a deca oh, desk yeah. mm. with um, with quite expensive mics around it in a kind of a yeah. um, Glyn John thing. Nice. And then I, I brought in uh, four six o fours. You know the clip ons. Yeah. And I put two on stands, one in front of the kick and one on the snare. And it was like there you go. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it was just like that. Sounds yeah. so much better. Good, exactly. It's good sauce and a good room. Yeah, it's good awesome. Yeah. Our food too. Okay, oh. cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. And when I came here, everyone is so lovely. Yeah. They're like Emma used to joke that I'd Stockholm syndrome because like <laughs> I'd be I'd be like this little mouse of like oh, I, like every email was like hello, I hope you are well, like I'm super funny. like perfect. And she's like no man, this is trust me, we're yeah. like a really relaxed vibe. Get and, like, on with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they were they were the first studio to hire me as a freelancer. Um, I worked. So the last thing I did at Sam was I did the last or the second to last Prodigy record. Right. There and then the producer from Prodigy started at Strong Room, so he was like, Neil. Yeah, Neil McKellen, he's, he's amazing, and he's yeah. yeah, he's one of my mentors still. And he was like, You have to check out Strong Room, you're gonna love this place. Nice, and as soon as I did, I loved it. Yeah, and it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, so Strong Room has been super, super supportive ever since. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. I yeah, live down the road, so I'm here all the time. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>